Hey guys, so I got so excited in so many of my videos that I forgot to bring up a very important assessment. It kind of deserves its own video, so I decided to make a, a video just for this one, um, and that is going to be a focused peripheral neurovascular assessment. This could be helpful for a variety of patients. You may need to do a focused peripheral neurovascular assessment on a patient with diabetes, a patient with a musculoskeletal problem that maybe has a cast, a fracture, or compartment syndrome. You may need to do a neurovascular assessment on a patient that has a peripheral vascular or cardiovascular disease. So um, as a whole, there's a lot of different uses for this assessment. So it kind of deserves its own video. And it's also my excuse to talk a little bit more about the cardiovascular system. So here I go nerding out. So as a reminder, these videos are just a basic principle. Um, your instructor may or may not want you to do something different. Um, so always check in with them and see kind of their take on things. We can all learn from each other. So um, to get started, um, like I said, peripheral neurovascular system, a lot of students get this confused. It's peripheral, which means away from the rest of the body. So we're talking about the hand, well, you know, the hands and the feet. Um, and so peripheral and the neurovascular, the people hear the neuro and they think it's about the brain. When we're talking about neuro, we're talking about like sensory. Um, so really I'm trying to check out how well are they getting blood flow? And like I mentioned with diabetes, with vascular disease, um, with um, musculoskeletal issues, I can have compromise or issues to my blood flow to my periphery. So um, what do you call it? Um, starting, uh, what do you call it with the, as we always do, we want to get a history. So those are some questions that I might want to ask about. Have you had recent, um, you know, fractures? And obviously, hopefully I should know that. <laughs> so, I um, mean, you know, recent um, uh, bone or muscle issues. Do you have any vascular problems, peripheral artery disease? Um, do you have any, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, diabetes in your history, anything like that, anything that's going to compromise that blood flow. So you want to kind of see it, get their history. And then you want to get symptoms. So, you know, um, I, in my class, I used to teach the six P's and one C, and then it was the seven P's and one C, and now it's the eight P's and one C. It's amazing how it just keeps growing. Um, so let's see if I can get all of these off the top of my head. So, um, and this kind of ties into the assessment. So when I'm talking about current symptoms, a lot, like some of them you're gonna to need to look or feel for, and some of them you're going to um, ask questions about. So let's kind of talk about how you can assess for these eight Ps and one C. So first, the easy one, let's do the one C, that's capillary refill. So the way that I can check for capillary refill, like I showed in the other video, is I can either feel on the nail side or on the finger side, and I'm going to push down pressure, let go, and I'm looking for that return. So to show you with my thumb, push down, let go and my thumb returns to normal color. So that should be less than three seconds. So that's capillary refill. Um, so then we have my eight, I, I'm, I probably miscounted. Maybe it is just seven. I wanna see, maybe, we'll see. I'll, I'll count and I'll see how many I get to. <laughs> so let's start with the first one, pain. So I wanna ask about pain. Are they having any pain? And when we're asking about pain, remember peripheral neurovascular. So is there any pain in their hands, any pain in their feet? Um, and so that's gonna tell me um, whether they're having, um, you know, call it, um, a problem because usually that pain is like an ischemic pain. In other words, I'm not getting blood flow to that area. So it's starting to hurt and it's saying, ouch, I'm not getting blood flow. Um, so um, that is a early sign of of compartment syndrome, which you definitely want to know. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that. So pain is my first P. Um, then there's pallor. That's the color. So I want to look at the color. So I'm going to be looking at the color of my arms, my hands, my legs, and my feet. Um, what color are they? Are they appropriate for the patient's skin tone or are they lighter or darker than what they're supposed to be? Hopefully they should be pink. So, um, so we look at pallor. We look at what's called poikothermia. So that is temperature. So I'm going to feel on this patient's arm. So I'm going to feel up and see how well. It should be warm if they're getting good blood flow. Um, so that's my third, um, that's my third P. Um, there's pulse. And so like I showed in my other video, um, you want to, you have your radial pulses here, two fingers, never use your thumb um, because you have a good pulse in your thumb. So you always want to use your two fingers. And I you'd usually do this bilaterally um, to chest to see what the, um, if they're strict strong or what their strength is bilaterally because people can have a problem just on one side so you always want to assess bilaterally to see if there's any differences um the fifth p is paresthesia um and so um with paresthesias 
uh, what do you call it? Um, what, uh, what those are is usually a numbness or tingling. So these are questions that I might want to ask the patient. Hey, are you having any um, uh, numbness, tingling um, in your hands or your feet? Um, it's something important to ask. And I usually ask people this question before I touch their feet. This is one of the first questions you might want to ask. Because here's the thing. If the problem is diabetes, some of these patients have a decreased sensation, but some of them have a hyper sensation. Um, and so because they have a hyper sensation, um, what do you call it? Um, like if I touch their feet, sometimes it feels like fire touching them. So before I touch a diabetic's feet, I always ask them, Hey, do you have any numbness or tingling? Do you have any abnormalities to the sensation in your feet? Um, so you want to ask about the hands and the feet, numbness, tingling, or hypersensitivity as well. So that's your fifth P. And I'm starting to think it's going to be seven. So you can laugh at me later. I hope that you do laugh at me in these videos because I laugh at me all the time. Um, so uh, what do you call it? Um, the next one is going to be what's called paresthesia. And so paresthesia is like, paresthesia, oh, I just said that, uh, paralysis, excuse me, paralysis. So paralysis is an inability to move. So that P is, I want to see if they can move. So I'm going to have them move their hands around. Can they wiggle their fingers? Can they wiggle their toes? Can they move their ankles, their wrists around? Because that's a late sign. If I am having, by the way, paresthesia is also an early sign of compartment syndrome. So pain and paresthesia are early signs. So, um, uh, what do you call it up? Like I was bringing paralysis is a late sign. If I've gotten to the point where my blood flow is so poor that I can't even move my hand or my feet, that's a sign of very diminished blood flow. So um, you definitely want to um, keep an eye on that um, and ask about that. And I think this is the seventh P and it's going to be um, pressure. So edema. So I wasn't really looking for edema as well because that can impair. It's not a sign of impaired, um, uh, what do you call it, um, blood flow, but it's a sign of risk for impaired because if I'm swollen what happens when like my muscle tissue swells is it puts pressure on my blood vessels and they can't get flow so all of these are about flow issues that I am not getting flow um, to somewhere that needs flow which is even though my hands and uh, my hands and my feet are not the most important things I have they're pretty important um, they allow me to do things like this so um, you know I want to make sure that I continue to have blood flow there um, so just as a refresher here, um, we have our seven P's and all these tell us about what blood flow is um, uh, for the peripheral extremities, which is like my hands and my feet. So I want to ask about pain. I want to ask about um, what do you call it, any numbness or tingling. I want to see if they can move it. I want to feel for temperature. I want to look for color, also known as pallor. Um, I want to assess and palpate the pulses, and I want to look for pressure or edema in those um, arms and legs as well, any sign that there could be impaired problems in the future. I'm also going to check my C for capillary refill, um, and that completes my neurovascular assessment. So I hope that this helped to clarify that. I'll see you for the next one.